Okay. 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 in uh, france despite the fact that romanticism started there but it is something confined more to art and architecture rather than to uh things uh pertaining to philosophy okay uh only rousseau is a person uh, who has elements of romanticism in him he's not a full romantic thinker he's also suggesting rationalist uh, solutions uh, the social contract as seen by uh, rousseau is nothing but a rationalist solution to the problems of capitalism okay but if you look at the uh, german literary and philosophical traditions which uh, symbolize the third enlightenment which i was talking about the german enlightenment they drew very heavily from uh, philosophy now if you look at various philosophers especially arthur schopenhauer and immanuel kant you will find them being very very close to romanticism and the philosophical uh, pessimism that got uh, that is associated with romanticism the philosophical pessimism okay so these are two philosophers that you can talk about and then you have poets novelists like schiller schelling holderlin and goethe g o e t h e is pronounced goethe in german they also have this influences of romanticism and the pessimism of romanticism in fact if you look at arthur schopenhauer arthur schopenhauer borrowed very heavily from the indian tradition so much so that he uses sanskrit uh uh words in his writing he talks about how people have gunas g u n a in english but not guna it is guna okay uh, how people have gunas and how these gunas uh, can affect people's lives either positively or negatively so he uses things like tamasa rajava okay and he says these are not good gunas right so you find that there is this influence as well where you look at the whole cosmos the universe as a living being and arthur schopenhauer has a very explicit theory of will w i l l you have to write it with a capital w okay w i l l when written with a capital w it means your will will power we say isn't it it's just through will power that he succeeded so will is that which is your mental power okay now he says there are two kinds of will one which he calls the individual will and the other one which he calls the cosmic will okay 
And I hope you remember what I had said about the cosmos. The cosmos is where you say that in the universe, nothing happens artificially. Uh, I mean, sorry, arbitrarily. Okay, nothing happens arbitrarily. Things happen for a reason. Everything that happens, happens for a reason. We do not know what the reason is. Sometimes we may know about it later or we may never know about it at all. Okay, but the cosmos or the universe knows why the reason is, uh, what the reason is for certain things happening. Right? In fact, he says the enlightened people are the ones who are capable of understanding the working of the cosmos or the universe. And therefore, they are people who are likely to have an understanding of what is the cosmic will. Okay, so he is using the ancient Indian system, which talked about everything having a soul. The universe itself is divine. Brahman or Brahmanda is divine. I told you, Vishnu and Krishna, these two words mean the spirit that permeates, the living spirit that permeates the universe. This is what the Vaishnavite tradition says. The Shaivite tradition says it is Shankara or Shiva and Rudra. Some people say Shiva and Rudra are the same. Some people say Rudra preceded Shiva. Shiva is you know, the reincarnation of Rudra. Okay, so they believe that it is Rudra who basically uh, permeates the universe. Okay, and you therefore will see that Schopenhauer brought all this into the German tradition. You will find the same thing with Schelling, okay, and Holdelin basically talked about the pathos, the pathos of human existence, okay. He would write lines like, you know, let me try to recollect, yeah, he would write a line like, my clothes can't cover the shame that I feel when I see you without clothes. So he's talking about poverty. He says, if somebody is poor, that person is not responsible for poor, his poverty. Society is responsible for his poverty. Okay, and so he said, my clothes, I may wear clothes, but they can't cover the shame that I feel when I see you unclothed. Okay, so that's the kind of thing that you find in, uh, in Holdelin, right? And so these are people who are, <clears throat> I'm sorry, these are people who are looking at aspects of human existence, going beyond the simple thing called rationality, the power of the human beings to manipulate the universe. And when Schopenhauer talks about the individual will and cosmic will, he says the individual will, will produce successful results only if the cosmic will 
tallies with the individual will <clears throat> sometimes you do very well in an exam or you think you have done very well in an exam why should i say you think you must have done very well in an exam you will believe that i need to get some good marks you might not be very greedy and say i want 100 out of 100 you might be saying that 80 will be fine i have done pretty good this is social sciences and so nobody gets 100 out of 100 and that is preposterous if you get <clears throat> those kind of marks so you will say 80 out of 100 is pretty good i'll be happy i'll be satisfied with that but it might just so happen that you just get 60 or you might just get 50 okay i have always said the person who teaches you should also evaluate not just your internals the person should evaluate your final exams also it was like that when i was doing my ma the same teacher who taught us and this is called continuous evaluation the continuous evaluation is your performance throughout the semester is evaluated how regular are you how punctual are you how much do you participate in discussions in the classroom how many kinds of questions do you raise do you challenge the teacher enough so these are the things that one is basically supposed to you know investigate and it's not just that one answer or two answers that you write in the end semester exam but your performance throughout the semester in the classroom in the sessional tests they are called sessionals we call them internals because these are internal papers are evaluated by um, the teacher who taught you and uh, there we simply call them sessionals because they are mid session and they don't they are not usually tests you have this horrible system of mcqs multiple choice questions fill in the blanks where will you ever learn the art of writing an answer okay if somebody tells you if i give you an instrument okay if i give you a veena and say this hold like this and play like this this is sa okay then you play here it is pa will you be able to play the instrument fluently will you be able to construct a melody you won't you will play sa pa it's not music similarly if you are not taught how to string your thoughts into words okay the primary form of language is thought words are the secondary form spoken word is a secondary form written word is a tertiary form but if you are never taught to construct arguments if you are not your thought process is not nurtured to construct arguments where will you write answers where will you write answers in any language it's got nothing to do with english i can challenge you that how many of you are there 120 people out of 120 at most four people will 
be able to write an answer in some language. The rest won't be able to write an answer in any language. People say Telugu medium. What are they studying in Telugu medium? They are not studying anything useful. They are studying completely useless books. Books which are outdated. So you can't write in Telugu as well. And you don't have the grip over the Telugu language. Please remember that spoken Telugu is different from written Telugu. Okay, the way in which we speak on a daily basis is different from the way in which we write. When we write, we use what is called grandikam. When we speak, it is called vaduka bhasha. Or sometimes it's called mandalikam. So, if you can't string sentences, you can't put words and make sentences out of them, then you can't write very well. But even assuming that you're a good writer, if somebody who doesn't know you is arbitrarily evaluating your script, he might not realize that you have written a very good answer. He might not have. So instead of getting 80, you just might get 50. So you don't succeed. You might want to get in to GNU to do your economics, but you won't get in there very easily. I don't want to say you won't get in at all. That's discouraging. I don't want to ever discourage my students. But all these marks that you get, they are all inflated. Okay, they are all completely, completely inflated. I was a university topper in my time. I even met the prime minister of that time, Rajiv Gandhi, because I was a university topper. You know what was my percentage? It was 69.3%. You sir, know yeah. Really, sir? Really? In JNU, sir? Yeah. 69 Great, is a... Sorry? 69 point university topper. And... Yeah, 69 point three university topper. And you met president. How oh, honest, sir? Yes, sir. Hmm? You met president, sir. Our president, great. Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Hmm. I'm very proud of you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. But I didn't want to tell you that for this reason, not to blow my own trumpet. That's not the reason why I'm telling you this. What I'm no, trying no, no, to sir. tell you is that university topper is getting 69.3%. Now, if you get 69.3%, your university bottomer in uh, our wonderful Usman University. Right? So, what Schopenhauer says is that when the individual will is supported by the cosmic will, only then the what should I say only then you will find success people prepare very hard for IIT they go to Ramaya or they go to Sri Chaitanya Techno School from 6th class itself they are preparing for IIT I think if you tell these uh, Narayana Chaitanya people the story of how Abhimanyu heard about Padma Vyuha when he was in the womb of his mother and when Narada talked about it, he knew how to enter the Padma Vyuha 
if you tell them that then they will bring all the pregnant ladies and give them coaching to get into iit so that the children will that's how it has become how many of these people get in after having put in so much work how many of them get in that's one question the second question a question that nobody asks you are having so many people who are getting into iits from andhra pradesh and telangana maximum number of people go there where are all these people after that have you seen anybody becoming anything after they have gone into iit do you know what is the dropout rate because here they haven't been taught anything but i'm going away from that so i don't want to but what i want to tell you is success will not come to you if your will does not match with the cosmic will that's what schopenhauer says and that is philosophical pessimism you might not get into iit that is one thing but even after you get into iit you might not be able to do anything with your life there are i can show you zillions of them zillions who have gone to iit they've got c grade d grade and they have no future they have no future so why is that so if you ask schopenhauer he will say it's the cosmic will if the cosmic will decides that you are not worthy of success then success doesn't come to you so he made this very very clear distinction between individual will and cosmic will and it's only when the individual will is in accordance with the cosmic will will you have success and in doing so in doing so schopenhauer redefines the notion of good you are more likely to succeed if you are less individualist okay if you are less individualistic if you like you are more likely to succeed in life if you are less individualistic if you don't focus only upon yourself that's the thing about holderlin isn't it all the clothes that i wear cannot cover my nakedness and my shame that's what he's saying so this is a return to the idea of common good and where did this start in the modern period the idea of common good is something that comes from rousseau kant kant is another philosophical pessimist kant talks about those things which are called antinomies a n t o n i m i e s or a n t o m i n y antinomy plural is antinomies antinomies are those contradictions that do not have a solutions a solution sorry and he says the biggest antinomy of human life is the incomplete knowledge that we have at any given point kant is actually a direct descendant in terms of philosophical lineage he is a direct descendant of rousseau okay because 
you know, you should read Kant. He's a very interesting philosopher. In one of the essays, he wrote that when he read Rousseau, he was so taken in by the writing of Rousseau that he believed every word of what Rousseau said. He said, I didn't find anything to contradict in it. Okay. So this is what later led uh, Karl Jaspers, J-A-R-S-P-E-R-S, pronounced not Jaspers, but Jaspers. Karl Jaspers basically said, when you read philosophy, you have to assume that it is something which is very good or that it propagates good. Right? That's what Karl Jaspers said. And if you look at uh, Immanuel Kant, Kant said he was so taken in with the writing of Rousseau that he said there's nothing to criticize here. And then he sat and thought about it and said there must be something to criticize here. How can there be a text that I'm reading which has absolutely no point which is contentious? So he said I read Rousseau two times and three times in order to find what are the points of contention. So why did he not find, why did he not find anything the first time he read him? That is because of the style in which Rousseau writes. You know, Rousseau has what is called an infectious style of writing. It's infectious because he takes great pleasure, great pleasure in writing his arguments. So as he's writing, he's very happy. Even if he's writing about unhappy things, he's writing and he's happy that he's writing. And as readers, when you read Rousseau, especially Emile, especially Emile, that spirit of happiness that is there in the writing style of Rousseau is conveyed to you you begin to enjoy reading. You're very happy reading Rousseau. It's not like Hegel. Reading Hegel is a chore. You read three sentences and then you have forgotten what is there in the first sentence. He's horribly obscure. Horribly, horribly obscure. Especially the phenomenology of the spirit. In that book, if you read that book, it will take you years to finish it. It took me two years to finish it properly and understand what he's saying. I, I didn't want to rely on commentaries. If you read a commentary, okay, you'll get it. But I took it as a challenge. Here is this man who writes such horrible things he writes it so horribly, so difficult to understand. But I took it up as a challenge. Well, two years is a bit of an exaggeration. But it took me a very long time to understand him. Very long time. And though Kant says such wonderful things about Rousseau, Kant himself writes like this, like Hegel. There is no pleasure of reading in Kant.
you don't feel any pleasure reading kant he is also sometimes so 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 dense with words <clears throat> he's dense with words but it's like you know you have to take an axe and cut holes in a tree and then see what is there in this people's writing that is how these people are but schopenhauer is not like that schopenhauer is easier to read much much easier to read but kant also represents the same philosophical pessimism that you find in rousseau the general will that rousseau talked about finally kant found something to say about it he says rousseau is not very clear when he talks about the general will he can be confusing he can basically be a little confusing so he said if you want to understand rousseau you'll have to change the idea of general will he changed it to good will i'll talk about that later but first let me finish that argument about the antinomy if you look at people like plato aristotle they all believed in the circularity of history which means history repeats itself you find number of people saying this history repeats itself if you go by the ancient indian tradition everything is a degenerative cycle exactly as it is for the greeks okay so everything become starts with the krita yuga not satya yuga please don't call it that okay krita yuga that is the correct name krita yuga is where there is complete dharma then there is treta yuga in treta yuga adharma makes an appearance but can be defeated by dharma through dharmic means and if you look at the next yuga it is called dwapara yuga in the dwapara yuga you have adharma gaining more power in fact it becomes so powerful that dharma in order to establish itself has to take recourse to adharma has to take recourse to adharma so that's why krishna is seen as a cunning character govinda shauri is his name actually okay he is seen as a cunning character how does bhima win his battle against duryodhana by hitting him on the thighs and when you fight with a mace gada you are not supposed to hit in the lower part of the body so you see that is not a fair fight it is an adharmic fight but duryodhana or suryodhana as his name is not duryodhana nobody will have a name like duryodhana okay duryodhana means somebody who does bad things his name is suryodhana his brother's name is not dushasana it is sushasana we say subhash one who speaks good things 
while i was serving in nizam college we had a principal whose name was durbhash karan which means his name itself says he spoke bad things i wanted to ask him why did you your parents give you this name durbhash is bad things but i didn't want to be much senior to me and i was still just recruited a young fellow i asked questions like that i didn't look correct so swayodhana represented adharma even bhishma knowingly represented adharma dronacharya represented adharma so they had to be killed through adharmic means and the next yuga is the kali yuga and when the kali yuga comes what happens in the kali yuga adharma starts taking over from dharma adharma starts taking over from dharma and we are still only in the beginning of the kali yuga by the way this is the 14th cycle which means there have been 13 cycles before this 13 cycles of treta yuga the, uh, sorry krita yuga treta yuga dwapar yuga and uh, what we call um the kali yuga okay people will tell you manu is the law giver it's rubbish today people are finding evidence of the existence of sanatana dharma from about 40000 years ago 40000 years ago there is evidence of sanatana dharma having existed but where was manu between 1250 and 1000 bce so how can he have been the founder of the laws of society that's nonsense and do you know manu is not a name manu is somebody who is a law giver and this has got something added on later and the manu of this cycle kalpa as it is called the manu of this cycle is a kshatriya not a brahman mayavati says manu adis are brahmins what you have today are not something that has been written by brahman it's a kshatriya we are distorting our own history we have made a casteist out of gandhi that's anyway a separate point but we also believed in the cyclical theory of history but when you look at people like rousseau especially starting with rousseau rousseau is explicitly telling you that history is not cyclical history is linear l i n e r in a line so if it started here it is going like this and it's infinity okay so what happens in 2020 will never happen again ever history doesn't repeat itself because it is linear and you can draw a line infinitely prashant will know that you can draw draw parallel lines infinitely and they'll never meet that's what mathematics tells us Rousseau subscribed to this idea of linearity of history. I'll talk about that in detail. But now it's less than a minute. Let me close by telling you Immanuel Kant 
has taken that very position of history. It is a linear thing. And because it is a linear process, the human being's knowledge of something is never complete. That is the antinomy. Why is it never complete? If you have, this is the line, if you have understood till here, while you are understanding what is happening here, history is not waiting for you to understand and then it will move. No, history has already moved. <laughs> 